So as I've mentioned on this channel, I sometimes forget that some of the subscribers, and there's almost 8,000 of you now, uh, there are a lot of people, by the way, who do watch videos who aren't subscribed, so hint, hint, click that subscribe button down there. Uh, you're probably new to lasers, which means your first laser is unlikely to be uh, an eight or $10,000 CO2 laser. It's more than likely gonna be a diode laser ranging in price from $300 up to seven or $800. And you're probably gonna wanna do something useful to get started, to really get behind and, and you know, find value for yourself as well as potentially sell. And, and so what I wanted to do is, is do an easy project, which is to take what's in this box, which is actually a whole bunch of these plain old yellow pencils, and do some personalization on them. And along the way, show you how I create jigs, how I do the alignment so that I can create multiple copies at the same time. And uh, hopefully you'll get something out of this and feel a little more energized about getting a project going. So if you're interested, stick around. How's it going everybody? Steve here and welcome back to my workshop. And as I mentioned in the lead in, this time I wanna do engraving of personalized messages on an item. In this case, a plain old wooden pencil. This is a project that if you have even the most entry level of entry level diode lasers or the highest end CO2 laser, you can do this project. And in this case, I will use a diode laser because I know many of you have those and show you how I cut out a jig, lay, lay down uh, uh, the message that I wanna put on pencils and do, that, do an alignment. Now alignment on a diode laser is a little trickier than it is on a CO2 laser, but I'll show you how I do it. By the end of this, you should be able to cut out a handful of uh, pencils for, for yourself, for your kids. Now, I use these uh, around my shop. I, I just engrave these things because a pencil is so cheap. And I put my name and, and contact information on them and lay them around my shop. And when someone comes in, if they need to take a note, they can write down a message and then I just tell them to keep the pencils. So it's a cheap advertising tool. And if you are just getting started and you want to have uh, potential for uh, picking up a bit of business, maybe this is the one. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll do that jig and I'll show you how to lay down a message on it and uh, we'll fire it over to the laser and cut the jig out and then we'll start creating pencils. So with that, uh, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do here is create a, a jig so that we can lay down, I don't know, four or five pencils. So what I did was I created just a rectangle at Inkscape here, uh, which will be the, the basic outline of our jig. And it's in this case, just arbitrarily 230 millimeters wide and 80 millimeters tall. And inside this, we're gonna drop another rectangle, which will be a slot for our pencil. And we'll make that, in my case, my pencils are pre-sharpened, so they're about 190 millimeters uh, wide, the length of them rather, and about seven and a half millimeters is good enough to, to drop them in. And what I'll do is I'll just select both of these and uh, I'll go to the alignment and center uh, center everything to the biggest object. Now, what I wanna do is be able to put my text in here. So uh, I'll just create some text and it'll be something simple like uh, compliments of slice pie design should be a, a fine thing for me to put there. You can put anything you want. And uh, now, of course, if you look at it, it's clearly outside the, the lines of the pencil. So I'm gonna just hold the control key and drag here uh, and shrink that down a bit so that it's reasonably small. You can go actually pretty tiny with these. Uh, I may even go a little, a little smaller than that. So what I'll do is I'll just say, uh, we'll go at four. And now my pencils are gonna be laid out so that the eraser end is gonna be on the left here. And we really want our message to be close to, close to that end so that uh, so that as the user the, of this pencil sharpens it down, your message stays there as long as possible. So what I'll do is I'll just slide it over uh, to about there. And because I want the outline, anything, these rectangles I want to be cut, but I want my text to be engraved. So I'll just pick a different color for the text so that, uh, so that we can, uh, in Lightburn, I'll use Lightburn for this it, it, with the X tool. Uh, so that we can determine that this is a, an engrave. And in fact, I think I'm actually gonna make this a little smaller 
just so that it aligns better with the pencil. In fact, we could actually select the outer rectangle just to make sure and I could say center vertically and that's centered. Now, what I wanna do is be able to make multiple copies of this. So let me, let me group this and all right, so now, now that I have my basic pencil outline here and it's grouped, uh, what I'll do is I wanna duplicate this so I can make maybe four or five of these at a time. So I'll select it and I'll just right click on it. Again, these are kind of Inkscape things, but you could do this with any, any graphics program. I'll duplicate it and now in Inkscape, if I wanna move that down maybe 15 millimeters apart, what I can do is just take whatever the, uh, sorry, the Y axis is and add 15 millimeters to it. And I could do the same thing again and add 15 more. And uh, we got room for one more. So I'll duplicate it again and uh, add 15 to that one. So there's our, there's our pencil jig. It's really that simple. Uh, now I'm gonna cut this jig out of cardboard uh, just because cardboard's cheap and uh, we'll get a we'll get a jig out of this so uh, let me fire this over to the laser i'll do the cutout and uh, then i'll show you a couple of tricks while we're doing that So now that the jig is cut, we need to just get rid of all the excess around the outside and, and do an alignment. And the way we do that is we lay it down uh, as straight as we possibly can by eye first and put magnets on it so it doesn't, it doesn't move too easily and then put the laser uh, crosshairs, the X-Tool D1 has a crosshair, but you could do this with, with pretty much any laser. Uh, put the crosshair up in the upper left corner and then slide it across horizontally. Make sure you don't move the, the Y axis and make sure that on the other end, the crosshair is still about the same height from the edge so that you know that horizontally it's straight. So once we're convinced that the horizontal alignment is correct uh, at that course level, uh, we can just do a quick positioning of the laser uh, to the lower left corner of the bottom uh, pencil slot and that gives us the maximum amount of uh, validation that we have fine alignment in place as well. So the way you do that is in Inkscape you, you select that, uh, that marker uh, on the left hand side and drag it to where you want and it'll move the laser physically to that spot. So we'll put that in the lower left corner of that bottom pencil slot and then go over and validate that the laser is, is very close to that position. Uh, again, depending on your, your, the alignment of your actual crosshair, you may have to do some error compensation. Uh, in the case of my X-Tool D1, the crosshair is slightly out, out of line, so I do have to kind of adjust the, the laser down just slightly when, when I'm doing an engrave uh, from that upper left corner where, where I think the home position is. I'll go to the home position and then I'll move it down slightly and that'll solve that problem. Once my alignment's done, I then generally use a scrap piece of cardboard that's cut the same size as the hole and just do a sample engrave on it just to make sure that the text is centered top to bottom. If you find that it's uh, either too high or too low, you may have to adjust where you think the upper left corner is. And you can just do that by, by going back to the, to the home corner position and then slide the, the laser up or down as needed by some minute amount to make sure that the text is centered and you can just do that engrave again if you're if you're unsure. 
And finally, once we're happy with the alignment, uh, carefully set some uh, pencils in. I normally try to set them so that the uh, brand label for the pencil manufacturer is facing down. And uh, you do need to make sure that you're actually sitting on a flat spot on the pencil so that there's a flat side pointing up as, as much as possible. The text here that I chose is probably still a bit bigger than it should be, so it does tend to overlap the edges. Uh, you don't have to be off by very much to make that happen, but it's fine, and, and you can play around with that as you go. And uh, once, we, once we're ready with the pencils in place, then we just do the, the engrave, and uh, we're pretty much finished here. And now that the engraving's done, we can just pull the pencils out and have a quick look. And you can see uh, that the engraving is quite nice on these and, and it was pretty simple to do. By far, you're gonna spend more time on alignment than anything else. It's a bit tedious, but you, you kind of get used to it. It's, I can set a jig up in, in seconds and have pencils engraved, so you get used to it. So there you go. As promised, this should have been a pretty easy project. Uh, hopefully you have a better understanding of how to create a jig and get it aligned with your laser. And uh, if you followed along, I hope you have a handful of personalized pencils. So with that, we can wind the video down. As always, I'll put a video up in the corner here. Uh, if you're interested, go watch that and I'll see you over there. In the other corner, I'll put a link to my Patreon page. Uh, if you want to help out the channel, and I want to thank the recent Patreon uh, contributors, uh, it really helps out the channel. I don't get to buy a new sports car or anything crazy, so uh, you're definitely helping directly the channel stay alive. So with that, we can wind the video down and uh, get out there and make your world, and I'll see you next time.